So one of the questions that we had last week was, um, will there be a membership um, fee increase? And this, this question was also asked in our USAV meetings, which is where all the 40 regions, the commissioners and the, our, the corporate office of uh, the national governing body, we go through a series of meetings and um, this was actually, not that they're ever terrible meetings, but it was good that we were able to participate in a lot of different committee meetings. But one of the questions that the commissioners kept asking USA Volleyball, as we, trans as we transition into a new membership management system into Sports Engine, we're all getting trained on that. Um, so we're ready for, for the membership, but will there be a membership increase since everything has slowed down? You know, I think many of you have had to cancel events, which we know are fundraisers for your club. Um, we, we had to cancel events. Um, so we had that question last week and I just wanted to make sure that we are currently in budgeting phase right now in the office and increase of membership or increase of any fees has never, has not been brought up. It is not on the docket for it to occur um, from our end and I can't expect that it will occur. So if there's a rumor floating out there that we're gonna bring back fees, team fees, we're not. We stopped that in 2019-20 this season. We stopped tournament sanctioning fees 2018-19. Um, and we're pre we feel really solid about what the membership, what is provided for the membership and the cost of it. We think it's quite a value. So I'm gonna hand this over to Sandy. She's done a lot of research on this next piece and um, take it away, Sandy. Sounds good. And I, again, I apologize for my looking this way, but. I can make it bigger and I can see it better. So uh, Laura was a great lead in. Um, we also just sent out, and I hope everybody has received it, but a club director tournament director survey. And keep those coming in if you haven't done it already, because we are getting some great feedback, but we've also gotten some questions. And this was a question that has come up several times. And it's interesting because I've been here for almost a year now, and I've tried to figure this question out myself for a year. The, and this will lead into our membership uh, value discussion, but on the North Star website, I don't know if you guys, hopefully you're not going there too often, but North Star website, they have a kind of a little icon on their front page here. How much could I save? Find out more about JVA. So if you've ever, if, and I would encourage you, go look at this, click on it. What you're gonna find is this grid that's here, this Excel document that we've put the big X and incorrect over because it's not correct. But it's interesting to look at it. So if you get a chance, go look at it. Um, it is completely, like I said, inaccurate. I'm trying to go to the next page here. So, and I know this is gonna be hard to see for sure, and again, this will be on our website. We put together, I put together um, with everybody's help, of course, just kind of a cost comparison. So when you're talking to your parents, when you're getting questions from people, why are we USAV? I mean, there's obviously lots of great reasons, but just let's just talk dollars and cents to start with. The reason I showed you that comparison that's on the, the North Star website is because it's so very inaccurate. And it's actually about two years old anyway. There's a lot of information on there that is just not even true. But we looked at this comparison of North Star and NCR. And, you know, some of the inherent things that are just different are their trade association for club directors. We are a registered nonprofit national governing body. So very, very different initiatives, very different types of organizations. Memberships that they offer, club directors and coaches, which are super important, but we have that adult membership as well, plus the junior memberships, officials, outdoor tryouts, high school boys. So you're, there's, it's apples and oranges when it comes to, you know, really um, comparing the two from the membership type standpoint. This in gray, where it says cost of JBA club, oops, sorry, I have a touch screen, um, and I always forget I have it. Um, cost of JBA club membership. These are their numbers. So these are not numbers that we put together. This is taken from the North Star website. 
basically um, their price breakdown is they're taking the club director fee that they charge, which includes the background screen. And I'm, again, these numbers would even be higher because their information is not accurate. It's behind by a couple years too. So um, then they add the team fee, which they charge $110 per team. And then they pay for the background checks for the two coaches, for two coaches per team. That's what gives you that $270. Basically then for every team you have, it goes up from there by another 150, okay? If we try to go through that same analysis for North Country Region, we, our club directors, Twyla, Shelley, you know, probably some other club directors on here too that I can't see who you are, you pay your $50 and then you have your background screen. $35 are background screens for the two years. So I'm using it to try to be apples to apples, $17.50 per background screen per year. So our club directors are paying the $67.50. If your club pays for your coaches memberships, two coaches per team to compare it to JVA, it's $100, right? You're going to have annual screen background screens for those two coaches as well. So basically, 250 per team. Each additional team, 135 dollars. So what JVA I think was trying to North Star were trying to show or tell people is it was so much more expensive to be USAV. And I go back to this one, and you can see again what they've typed, what they've written. If you had 28 teams, they're saying that the cost difference is $14,000 more to be a JVA or be a USAV member. That is not true. If you had 28 teams, it's actually $472.50 cheaper for you to be a USAV member. So if you can see that, I think my screens are kind of a little behind here. Um, I know it's a lot of numbers, but it's important to kind of show, number one, the misinformation, I think, to me, like I said, for the last year, that's been one of my biggest issues is we have a lot of value. You can tell your parents and your players all this great value, but when they see a number that they think is accurate and it's not, we know, it, you know, we understand that there's dollars committed here, you know, by every family. I have kids that play sports as well. So where's your money going? Well, as you guys know, I'm going to actually skip one more forward here. Um, because of the way our memberships are structured, every member gets benefits. So regardless if you're nine years old or you're 99 years old, you are getting benefits for your membership and they start from day one. So obviously we had some shortened seasons, unfortunately, for some you know, of our clubs, they were much, much shorter but you're still getting a lot of value. Um, we're not increasing our $50 fee. So that's a, a wonderful thing to be able to tell your parents. I'm gonna go to this. Um, individual benefits. These documents, we have one of these documents for each member type. So this would be for you guys right here just kind of a breakdown of all the different benefits you get as part of your $50 membership. I mean, we were, we were trying to almost, we almost had to cut things out because obviously it takes up so much space. And we have them for the junior players as well. Just something to kind of consider maybe sharing with your families. Um, I mean, obviously to me, one of the biggest benefits is being part of USA Volleyball. I think that good or bad, you know, if you've had some issues with or somebody's had an issue with them, it is the national governing body of volleyball. It's huge. So important, you know, especially in our, our times these days and, you know, that nationality and that just um, having kind of that heart of being part of something that's bigger than, than yourself to me is very important. But, um, but then all of the other benefits that each individual member receives you know, all the training that a coach receives or can receive um, and take advantage of. So um, just take a look at these. I won't read through all the benefits. You guys kind of know what they are, but just because you have your own membership. Um, but look at the website, pull these documents up, 
please share them. Um, there's a lot more. First of all, get the correct information, you know, the correct numbers, but there's a lot of value that we put in, I think, and I'm going to go back one more document here and go back to this one. Um, didn't come back for you guys yet. There you go. Just some of these comparisons down here. If you look, just some of the differences, and obviously there's quite a few. This is where it gets difficult with the apples and oranges, but I think that this comparison, the USAV comparison, really just shows we're so individually structured.